Hey guys, okay, this is me re-recording um, episode 11 of Until Death Do Us Part. I guess something was wrong with the last one, I don't even remember what it was, but... Yeah, here we go. The Wedding Part 2, baby. <sighs> I was a bundle of nerves. Can contain my anxiety and fear. Oh, wait a minute, girl. Wait a minute. Okay, I was getting married right now, and there was no escaping. I couldn't divorce Alex, and I had to live with him. Why the fuck can you divorce him again? Well, I has to be with Alex until the day I die, girl. Ugh, I get no bridesmaids or maid of honor for my wedding. <laughs> my father isn't isn't even walking me down the aisle. This wedding is just me giving myself to Alex until death do us part. Death was looking like a really good option at this moment. Is it too late to escape? Yeah, princess, it is. Mm. Alex looked tense and gloom. His mischievous gleam that usually shines in his emerald green eyes had vanished. His eyes were dull and dejected, and his expression was strained. This wasn't the Alex I know. I know. I know. But whatever. Then again, I barely know Alex. Girl, you don't look very happy. <laughs> so, so don't you. What? Neither do you. Neither do you. Anyway. Isn't our wedding day supposed to be the happiest day of our lives? Not when you're being forced into marriage. Yeah. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Um, There's going to be a lot of paparazzi here, so you have to act like we actually want to get married. Okay. Are you okay? Seem tense. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, Valentina, I'm sure. Are you fucking done questioning me? Alex's tongue was harsh and cruel. The cocky and playful tongue Alex usually talked to me in. Well, talked to me, what's gone? And what's gone, girl? <sighs> and now he's showing a glimpse of the monster he has within. <laughs> this is so fucking dramatic, bruh. <laughs> Maybe all the times he was nice to me this week was just to get on my good side. And now I was petrified. But you real scary, child. Are you ready? I guess. Then let's go. Alex grabs my hand, but his touch doesn't bring me comfort, and we start heading towards the altar. Their marriage is arranged. Child, you... He real fucking nosy. Like, what? Why was you standing around listening to my motherfucking conversation? Fucking Levi. Bitch. Valentina, look over here. Valentina, are you excited to marry Alex? Alex, how does it feel to finally settle down? Um, where you two? Where are you two going for your honeymoon? Are you mar marrying Alex because you're pregnant, Valentina? Alex pulled me to his side, and I immediately tense up. He gives me a confused look, like he doesn't get why I'm tensing up at his touch again. Well, what does he expect from <laughs> after he just scared the living hell out of me hardly five minutes ago? Don't show them that you're nervous, pal. How am I s supposed to do that? Fake a smile and pose for them. It works every time. And remember, we have to act like we love each other, so that means you can't tense up every time I touch you. I wouldn't have tensed up when you touched me if you hadn't been so scary when I asked you if you were okay. Girl, he wasn't even scary. Stay in character, Kellyanne. I'm sorry for being a dick earlier. I just have a lot on my mind. I have a lot on my mind too, but you don't see me taking it out on you, do you? Well, mm, girl, yeah. You're right. I have some problems I have to deal with next week. Excuse me. And I'm not looking forward to dealing with them. On top of that, this wedding is putting me on a bad mood. I shouldn't have taken it out on you, Monica. <sighs> um, okay, yeah, bitch, whatever. 
Oh, what did you just say? <laughs> Alex reaches out and softly rubs his thumb against my cheek. I lean into his hand and Alex gives me a lopsided grin. I said I'm an ass, but an ass, you should still forgive. You're right. You are an ass. A forgiving ass? Fine. Yes. Such a dork. Oh, uh, look how cute they are. When is the baby coming, Alex? Bitch, what? Girl, you just didn't wrap it up in your motherfucking head that it's a baby on board, huh? <laughs> Soon everyone takes their seats and the wedding begins. Child. Dearly beloved, okay, we gather here today in the presence of these witnesses to join Alexander Benjamin Callahan and Valentina Mar Marella. G Giovanni, I don't know what the fuck her middle name is, child. It looked like Marie Ella, okay? But anyway, whatever. So, um, in matrimony. Okay, whatever, whatever. Okay. They get married, y'all. Y'all can read that shit, because I'm, I'm nobody's minister, baby. I don't... Oh, okay, yeah. Speak now, if I ever hold your peace, shit. I'm not reading all that shit, y'all. I don't like him. Let's continue with the ceremony. Do you, Alex, take Valentina to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Valentina, take Alex to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Please recite your vows. Okay. He, Alex, takes Valentina to be his wife. Um, to have whole, better, worse, rich, poor, sickness, health, cherish, um, death do them part, not Valentina. She's saying the same thing. Well, no, she's not really saying the, okay, her Valentina take Alexander Ivy to be her husband, friend, faithful partner, love, yada, yada, yada. The princess of their family, friends, sickness, health. Good, bad, joy, sorrow, yada, yada, yada. Don't say traditional vows by the side, by the power vested in me by the state of California, honey. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Aren't they so cute? Hmm. What? Valentina, you look so beautiful. Thanks, Mama. When will you be living for Mexico? Mexico, what are you talking about? We're leaving this evening. Why? We are? Why? We have some problems to take care of. So we'll be spending our honeymoon in Mexico for how long? Three months. Three months. But what about my modeling gig? Oh, I forgot about that. You know how important this is to me, was to me. I'll fix it. Don't worry. How? I'm Alexandra. Oh. <sighs> Boy, you real fully a fucking self. I can do anything. Okay. See you at the reception. Beyonce and Child Legend are going to be there. Guys, pay for Beyonce and Child Legend to perform. As Calhoun said. So, what are you guys paying for? Nothing. <laughs> we weren't about to pay for this expensive ass wedding. When Callahan's are millionaires, um, you guys are millionaires too. So that doesn't mean we want to spend our money. Yeah, yeah. They're cheap as hell. I didn't, oh, why didn't you tell me we was going to Mexico? I just found out today. It's part of the reason I was in a bad mood earlier. Um, what's the problems you have to deal with? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because it's mafia work. Hmm. Don't be mad, Mangra. 
Um, you just can't get involved in my line of work. Why the hell not? Valentina, I love your wedding dress. Who designed it? Uh, I don't know. I sort of just bought it. Well, you look stunning. Thank you, Le Levi. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you promised me an interview for my modeling agency this weekend. Oh, about that. Don't tell me you're canceling on me. Actually, Natasha, we were hoping Valentina could model in Mexico. Mexico? Why? Well, Val and I will be staying there for three months, but Val really wants to model. I uh, will gladly provide a modeling studio for you. What makes you think Valentina has a job already? Come on, Natasha. She's gorgeous, and she's got a unique personality. You and I both know we're, we were always going to hire her. Fine. You're hired. Yay. I already have a studio in Mexico, so make sure you be there eight on the dot. Okay. Oh, shit. Have I mentioned how beautiful you look, Valentina? Yes, you have, but I don't mind being told again. The service was wonderful. I could really tell how in love you two are. Oh, um, yeah. You look a bit uncomfortable during the ceremony, Val. I did. I was probably nervous from being in front of all these people. Nope, it kind of looked like you were being forced to do something you didn't want to do. Does Levi know about know the wedding was arranged? What are you implying? I'm just concerned for the well-being of a close friend. A close friend? You barely know Valentina. That's true. But we'll be modeling together soon. And the pose that's weird <laughs> we're going to have to do it requires us to be close. <laughs> Very close. You fucking little... Alright, stop it. Levi. I don't know where you're getting this outrageous idea from, but Alex is enforcing me to marry him. Our parents are, first and foremost. Are you sure? Yes, asshole, she's sure. Does he always answer for you? Yes. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Shut up, Callahan. <laughs> Yeah, shutting up. I love Alex, okay? I married him because I love him, so don't suggest anything otherwise. If you say so. Did you tell that douche about our arranged marriage? Do you really think I'd be dumb enough to tell an outsider what about the, uh, well, oh, about the wedding? No, I know you would never do that. I still had to ask, though. Oh, okay, bitch, whatever. Why don't you, uh, why do you think he was implying that we were forced to marry each other? I guess it's that he, over, he either overheard something we said or he's working for the Russians. I thought he's working for the Russians, Alex. You never know. I should interrogate him. No. Why not? Your form of interrogation is torture. It's effective. It's inhumane. Not when you're a mafia man. These motherfuckers ugly as hell. Not this bitch. And Valentina. Fucking Adeline. You look beautiful, Valentina. Thank you, Mr. Callahan. What about me? What about you? Don't you think you should have gone for a more elegant dress? This dress is just fine. Of course... Well, of course, um, you do. You're a Giovanni, and Giovannis don't have an ounce of elegance in them. Okay, mama. Keep it classy, Val. Don't flame her in front of all these people. No, don't slap this bitch. Fucking mean flame. My fucking flame, bitch. Bitch, catch these hands. I'm sorry if you feel that way, but your opinion about my family is invalid to me. We'll see you two later. Are you ready to go? Yeah, but we should change it. Uh, but we should change change into some clothes for the reception now. Together, yeah, we're gonna change together, bitch. Not in this lifetime, babe. Meanwhile, I hate to see you, Rosalind. Please don't ignore my text, baby. I will find you. 
Why won't he just leave me alone? Are you okay? You just love sneaking up on people, don't you? I'm sorry. I was looking for you. Why? I wanted to apologize for earlier on. I should have made my presence known. Why is he apologizing to me? I was a bitch to him. Girl, you were. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Um, are you done here or do you have something else to say? Well, I noticed you were upset and are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure if there's anything I can do to help? I said I was fine, okay? Don't you have to go babysit my sister? She's with Mr. Callahan, so she'll be fine. Well, how about you go bother someone else? You really not need it here. Ugh, crap. Excuse me. If that's what you want. I think I was too bitchy to him. And to me, wrestling, you know who this is. I'm not giving up on you so easily. Girl, you real thirsty, child. Thirsty bucket ass, bitch. Ugh, this dress is so uncomfortable. I should try a different hairstyle from the engagement party. Girl, that's the shit you came up with. <laughs> I cannot take that fucking hairstyle, bitch. Uh, I should go pick up my outfit for the fucking reception party. This one, this one, or this one. I'm going to go with the white flowery dress. It looks more wedding type. They might look good. I should go find Alex now. Alex? Where is everyone? Oh, bitch. I warned you not to marry Alexander Callahan. The masked man grabs my arm in a tight grip that would definitely be bruised. Adrenaline courses through my body as reflexes kick in. I kick the guy in the balls with a hard, swift kick. Stay away from me, bastard. Val, what's the matter? Why are you running? And why are, is there a fucking bruise on your arm? Who did that to you? I um I couldn't tell Alex about the mask. Man, of course not. He would go crazy and devote all his time to find another guy. He had a lot of he had a lot on his plate and I didn't need him to solve my problem. <clears throat> um I was in a damn sort of distress and I certainly didn't need a hero to rescue me. So I lied. Carl <laughs> Calm down, Kyle, yeah. So I really used spider and tripped and fell when I was trying to run from it. A spider was the cause of that bruise in your arm. Yes, I'm lucky I got away alive. I could he could it could have eaten me. <laughs> what? Don't laugh at me. A good husband will go and kill that spider. I'm not a good guy. Uh, all I want to know is why is this masked man keep showing himself to her and not to him? Like, what the fuck? What, what's, what, what the fuck going on, child? Our parents are arguing. Callahan's and Giovanni's never get along. Couldn't they at least try for, on our wedding day? Hell no, girl. I don't think they can. Wait a minute. Is that Jade over there? DJ, DJ, that wanted her ass what? Okay, this is a recap, you guys. But you know I don't do them. So, um, y'all can read that.
Girl, I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired in the motherfucker. Shit. But I had to get this out because I did take yesterday off. Well, I really didn't even take yesterday. I was supposed to take yesterday off. But they ended up posting two episodes of Chain Reaction. So I had to record those. Of course, because you know I'm Chain Reaction is my story, girl. <sighs> Shit, I completely forgot. Why the hell is she here? You know, Yana. <sighs> um, well, Yana is Jade's half sister. Wait, so Jade is Russian? No, I would never fuck a Russian girl, Bob. But you what? Okay. Yeah, but you fuck stupid, good for nothing hoes. True enough. <laughs> I don't want her here, Alex. She's a celebrity princess. It'd look bad to the press if she wasn't here. Don't be mad, Mom. Girl. Too bad. I am. Girl, you always saying, ugh, Alex, you look sexy as usual. Thanks, Jade. You look beautiful as... What? what? Did he actually just call that bitch beautiful? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you actually got married. I never thought I'd see the day Alexander Callahan got married. Yeah, well, better now than never. Well, once you get bored with Valerie... Okay, bitch. I'll be here to show you how a real woman please pleasures her a man. Girl. Oh, Valerie, I didn't see you there. Bitch, you call me Valerie one more, girl. You look disgusting. That dress literally looked like something I've dropped off at the Salvation Army last month. But you owned it, girl. It's Valentina. What? My name is Valentina, not Valerie. Why couldn't Alex Rose ever get my name right? I could really care less. Bitch, they know your name, girl. They're just mad bitches. Run along, slut. Alex and I need to talk. Um, I really want to flame this bitch, but there are paparazzi nearby, so I'm just going to walk away. Can I go at least one day without dealing with one of your sluts? I'm not a slut, you bitch. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> It just literally goes up to your crotch. Whoa. Wait a minute. Did I push walk away or did I push flame her? I don't know, bitch. <laughs> What's going on between Jade and oh, Jade Walker and Valentina Giovanni? Did J- Valentina just call Jade a bitch? Okay, girl. I can't believe Alex slept with that bitch. He has no standards. Why does it bother me so much, though? I don't love Alex, but maybe I like him a bit. What the hell am I talking about? He's probably going to start dating girls in secret once the press is off our ass. But no, Valentina, you can't want more from him. Once a player, always a player, right? Yeah, maybe. That sunset is so beautiful. Yo lurking ass, bitch. Damn, she's beautiful. Valentina, what your lurking ass want, bitch? What the hell, Levi? Where the hell did you come from? Sorry, I didn't... Did I scare you? It's fine, I just thought you were no one. Fucking the mask man, bitch. So are you excited for your honeymoon? Oh, I forgot about that. You forgot about your honeymoon. I thought that's what all girls look forward to on their wedding day. Listen, I just found out I was actually going to ha- going on a honeymoon this afternoon. And the only thing I'm looking forward to is the cake. Someone's a fatty. Are you calling me fat, Levi? No, you have a perfect body. I mean, just teasing you, Levi. Holy shit, I almost had a heart attack. My mom always told me that girls will kill a guy that calls them fat. Your mom speaks the truth, girl. <sighs> Levi and I talked for a long time. He takes my mind off of Alex. Well, off of all the Alex drama. It makes me feel better. Here come Alex bringing his old crusty ass over. What? Levi was looking at something behind me with a nervous expression on his face. The hair is on the back of my neck stand up as my heart begins to beat faster. I knew who was behind me. What? Why are you here with him? Well, hmm, well, Levi always 
doesn't have his ex-girlfriends around insulting me. So I figured he was better company than you. So if you could excuse us, we're having a conversation before you interrupt it. Alex suddenly lifts me up and throws me over his shoulder. Put me down, asshole. No thanks. <laughs> Why? Watch like a baby drowning. <laughs> oh my gosh. She looked like she was fucking drowning. Alright, you guys. That was it. Hope you guys enjoyed.